Hey y'all, welcome to day number eight of the AI Agent Challenge. My name is Dylan. I help entrepreneurs win the game of business by installing and upgrading their business with AI agents and automated workflows. So today we're gonna to be talking about something that a lot of people have requested, scraping. How do I pull data online and into my own systems that I could repurpose? A lot of times this is around cold email campaigns or reach out campaigns in some sort of system. And what we're showing you is a really powerful website that's gonna show you how you can scrape data from really any place available online, but primarily we're gonna be doing Google Maps today. So with that being said, let's hop into it, shall we? All right, we are here inside of make.com. And what we have here is the folder for the AI Agent 30 Day Challenge right here. And you can see all of the previous modules uh, and scenarios that we've created up to this point. And the next one here is we're going to create a new scenario by clicking this button. So it gets populated inside of this folder. First thing, as always, we're going to name this and we're going to call this Google Map Scrapes. Save that. So now we have this saved. And I'm gonna show you a really awesome scraping website called Apify. Here's apify.com. Now what this is, is pretty much people have built these automatic workflows that allows you to be able to scrape from any data source online. The way that you can get this is that you first sign up for free and they have a really awesome $5 for free for scraping services and you can do a ton with that. Once you sign in, you can see that inside of the store here, there's all of these different types of scraping tools that are available. And what you can do is we can actually use the APIs and we can webhook in all of that data. So anything that you want to be able to do, I mean, whether or not you want to say, if you want to look for LinkedIn, there's all of these resources for LinkedIn for job scrapes or URL profile companies and all these things that would allow you to initially scrape a lot of data here. If you want to do say Instagram, there's all these Instagram services like post scrapers and real scrapers and hashtags and all of that jazz. So there is a lot of sources here. It's a store, essentially like an app store, but for scraping services. Well, what we're gonna look at right now is Google Maps. And we can see that we're gonna use this Google Maps tools right here. But let's just say you didn't have this service and you wanna get it integrated into your system. What you're gonna do is you go over here, we're gonna open up a module and I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna type in Apify. And what we're gonna click on is watch actors run. And this is gonna be a tag for you. So the way that you would add this into here if we weren't automatically logged in, what you could do inside of here if you were gonna log in is you're gonna hit add. It would ask you to add in your API link. The way that you get your API link is this. You go inside of here, you go down to the bottom section over here with settings, click on that. And if you go over to integrations right here, this is your API key. You just copy this key right here, go inside your make scenario and paste it right inside so that you can create your connection. I already have my connection, so I don't need to, but we're gonna name this one right here. And let's call this one Google Maps Gems. And so that's what we're gonna be looking to scrape with. And the actor we're gonna be looking at here is we're gonna be looking at this Google Crawler for Places hit save, click OK. Now that we have that here, we're going to go back over to this scraping service. I'm going to close this out. We're going to go back over to scraping services and we're going to take a look at this Google Maps scraper. So let's just say that you wanted to be able to scrape a list of any type of business that you're really trying to figure out. For my example, I'm going to use gyms. And let's just say you want to scrape data of all of the gyms in your local area, but you could do this for hair salons or any business that you might be targeting. So with this Google Maps scraper, here's some of the data we want to put in. Let's just say we're looking for gyms and we're going to type in one location at a time, say Long Beach, California. Uh, we only want to scrape 10 pieces of information. So like, let's just say we wanted 50 results, 50 gyms. We could change this number to 50 if we wanted, but let's just leave it at 10 right now. We want it in English. And what is the other information that we want to get? We want to include the name or the phone number and contact deal details. So we're going to leave that. And inside of here also, we want to grab some reviews. So we'll grab some of the newest reviews. We'll leave that at 10. We'll see how many we get. And then other than that, look, looks good. So this is currently waiting for that actor to run. 
I'm going to go over here and we're going to click Start Run. And this is going to start to grab all of that information right now. It's going to start scraping the Google Maps. We're going to let this run for a little bit. And once this is done, once it's completed, this right here will populate. So it's really important that you turn this on and then you have this thing running. Once this is completed here, we'll be able to then grab the data and bring it across. And you can see over here in the bottom right, this is the free plan right now. I've only used $1.79 out of $5. It's fractions of a cent to be able to scrape this data. Some things are more expensive, like usually in the real estate space, it can be a little bit more, but it all just depends on what each one of the, the apps or the scraping services that we're using, what do they charge for being able to scrape this data? So this is getting the data for us right now. And uh, we can see we got some of the good information here, URL and everything else. Okay, that looks good. Let's go over to make. And it's still not done yet. We need to get to 10. It's at 7. And part of this thing, it's doing a little bit of load balancing. It's not, it doesn't want to stress the system. And so what's nice about these scraping services, instead of getting throttled or getting shut down, because sometimes websites like Google Maps or other ones can detect that you're scraping the system, it will tend to shut you or block you. So this does a lot of complicated things in the background that makes it a lot easier for you. So we're at eight now and 10. So there we go. Done. Succeeded. Great. So the next step of this is we're going to open up and we're going to grab that data set. And this is going to be the data set from the watch the actor run. And what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to, we're going to hard code in a number right now, just so that we can just use that data set from now on. So we're going to go down here to data set, default data set right here. Copy this. We're going to open this back up and the data set, I'm just going to hard code that right across. Hit save. Now that that data set's been hard coded, we're just going to break this link and we're going to move this over to here and we're now going to use this as our data source right here because it already knows the data set ID so it's already pulling it. So we don't need to run that actor over and over again. Let's just run this right now. Let's grab the information and we can see we have the gyms, the URL page, the title, category, address, phone number, street, postal code, locations, Review distributions. There's some reviews inside of here. Let's look at this. Yep, there's uh, some reviews. Great. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take this and we're going to want to be able to dump it inside of a spreadsheet so that we can have access to this data. Now, this is usually one of the steps in terms of getting data, and then you can use other services to be able to enrich it with more data. So when you send cold email campaigns, like I have somebody who wants to do a cold email campaign with me, we want to be able to grab, say, local relevant information about what they're looking for. Let's just say homes and be able to enrich the data. So if someone's living in Austin, Texas, we could search Redfin or another locations for local homes that are available. And so if you're a mortgage broker, you can have a conversation with, okay, by the way, I'm seeing all this information about you. So as they come through the new opportunity pipeline, we could scrape local data about that, which would then give us more data points about that person, whether to bring them through for a cold email campaign or when you're trying to close a deal and having a conversation with them. So let's open up a Google Sheet here right now. And I made a folder inside of here that's just a day eight scraper. And let's just make a new Google Sheet, create new. Let's title it as day eight Google Maps scrape. Hit enter, and let's go ahead and then select that. We're gonna add a row, add a row, there we go. We're logged in, and we're gonna select the AI agent challenge, go here to the second folder, should have day eight, scrapes, there we go. And we're gonna select this sheet that we just made, Google Day Scrapes, awesome sheet name. This is sheet one. By the way, the sheet one is this sheet here. So you can retitle it to whatever you want that to be. And then we're going to go in here, contains headers. We're going to say yes. Right now it doesn't have headers. Uh, so we're going to want to add some headers in right now. And let's take a look at some of these data points. So what data points do we want to put inside of here? Uh, okay, we want to have a title. 
maybe the city, look at the state, website, phone number. So we're gonna go into here. Let's, I'm gonna call this title, city, state. What else did we have here? Website, phone number, website, phone number. What other data do we want to grab? Uh, let's grab those reviews. I think that would be useful and probably the URL link as well. It might be nice to go back to find that original URL link and reviews. All right, let's do that. So we're going to go here. Uh, we can do map URL and reviews. All right, that'll be good. And let's call this business, even though it says title. We'll call that so it makes more sense. Come across here, we'll bullet this. And then what we'll do is, I'm just gonna make a little bit more space here. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click this. I'm gonna go down to format and I'm gonna do wrapping so that if it's a really long one, it's just gonna wrap and go down versus come straight across. All right, great. And open this back up, go here, and then we're gonna hit refresh now that we have these headers in place. And so it's gonna pull that data and tell us, okay, cool, this is the information that we've got. And we have the business, which is gonna be the title here. City, let's go down to city, state, there we go. Want the website information, phone number, GMAP URL, is that towards the bottom here somewhere? Yep, Google Map URL, and then reviews. So we can see some of those reviews at the bottom here. And this might be good if you wanna like sell people on like a go high level service or something else around helping them get more reviews or have better reviews or do a review campaign. We can go inside of here and see the information that we're getting. And let's just give it the, I think we just wanna give it the text. Yeah, let's just give the text. We don't need all the information. All right, uh, so we're gonna right click this and we're gonna run here. So now it's grabbing this data set and you can see the sheets being populated right now. And there we go. Ooh, that's, everything's bold. Too bold. So, all right, there we go. Bold that and we can see some of the information that we have inside of here about this map information. Uh, this is running over the side, so we don't want that. So let's just make sure that we have this be a cutoff because this just looks a little, a little strange. So we're going to format that, and we're going to go to wrapping, and we'll clip it. There we go. Great. Uh, we can see here, oh, that's a really long one. Someone had a lot of points. We have an error here with the phone number, so let's click on this. Okay. So we can see here that we're getting an error with the phone number because Google doesn't like when you have a plus sign in front of here, you can see this right here, uh, because it thinks it's like a formula function or something. And so we're gonna wanna remove that plus sign so it looks more like that. So let's put in a text parser to handle that. So we're gonna grab this. Let's uh, delete these rows just like that. And let's go back inside of here. We're gonna zoom this out a little bit. We're gonna break that. And let's add in another module that is a text parser. We'll go here, I'll type in text parser. There we go. And we want to replace. <laughs> Actually, we don't want to, what we want to do instead of this is we're gonna to want to set some variables and then we can use those variables and then modify them. So we're gonna use set multiple variables here set multiple variables. We have one variable here. We're going to call this one phone number. And we're going to pass through this data set of the phone number. Cool. There's the phone number. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a combination of functions to be able to do this. So we're going to do the split function right here. And we want to split this phone number out. So we can move this across in here. It's always a little finicky. 
there we go. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to use the, the get function over here. And you can see that this is where the get function is. If I click on that, you can see the get function in here. And this shows you just a little bit on how to use it. If I hover over this a little bit, you can take a look at this. You, you can put in an array of numbers like the phone numbers, and you can split it out to do a bunch of different things with it. So what we want to do is we really just want to split out just that plus sign and anything after that plus sign we're going to go and use. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to delete this over here, go across to here, and we're going to say anything after this plus sign, we're going to use just that information. And we want to complete that by adding a semicolon, and that should work. We're going to split the phone number here between this, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get the the back half of the information in the array that's the, that's the second piece because it, it goes from zero to one. So we're going to pick one here, click OK. That should do that just fine. We're going to realign this. A little, oh, magic auto align. Put that off to the side here. Hit save. Is this empty? That's empty. And now we are going to run this one more time. All right, there's the information coming across. 9, 10 complete. Great. We'll go inside of here. We still got the error. Interesting. So let's see what's going on here. Usually when I'm experiencing this, there's usually like a space somewhere in here. That's hard to see. That seems to be working. Oh, I get it. I see what happened there. I didn't pass through the variable. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's silly. So what we're gonna do here is grab this variable, go to phone number, select that. So that variable should work. Go here and let's try this one last time. Delete this row, go here at the top. And now that we've gotten that and the variables are now in place, we're gonna hit run. Okay, and there we go. All right, awesome. So now we have the gym, we have the location, we have the website if we want to go into it. And you could always have other agents uh, be able to go into these websites and be able to scrape out more information like emails and other information for that URL for link and some review information. So if we wanted to do an email campaign and just said, hey, uh, I noticed you're a local gym in the area. You had this review like this or you have this many reviews inside of here. What if we came into your business and we did a whole review campaign for you where we you know, created email automations and AIs to be able to go out and and do an email campaign to get more reviews. So that's another thing that you could use this for, is finding low-performing businesses, restaurants, um, any other type of place, and be able to run these types of campaigns by going through their list and then automating the reach outs of previous customers or people on their mailing list to be able to kind of do a review campaign. So there we go. Uh, that is all of the information. And so the last thing is we could, we could hook this up. So whenever we ran this, um, inside of Apify, whenever you run the system, it will actually be triggered to go inside of here. Now you could trigger that through Make if you wanted to by clicking this button right here and go and clicking Run an Actor. But you generally do that in another module where you're basically web hooking through, running an actor to Apify, and then this is watching the actor on the backside. So the good thing about running an actor inside of Make is that you could set it on a timer. So if you say you wanted to, I don't know, scrape a list of houses that are available for sale. You could set that on a timer to constantly go off every so often and then do some filtering to look for anything that met the criteria and then ping you if something became available. So right click this, delete this module, and this is the whole thing set up. So now you can use Apify to go into Google Maps to be able to scrape any leads listings from any type of category pipe that into your own system that can allow you to enrich your data to run any type of outbound campaign that you'd like. Thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. And if there's anything that you want to see during this AI agent challenge, feel free to comment that down below as well. Thank you so much. Take care, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye now.